Hey everybody and welcome to another Barricadeer video. He is back again on the Orcus Relay on Pluto. Let's go check out what he's got to offer. So let's start off with cosmetics. We've got the Katir Forest Leg Plate. Not as much of a fan of these as I am the chest piece and the, um, the arm plates. However, if you like these then they're definitely worth picking up. 225 ducats, 150,000 credits. Not my style but then, you know, everything's relative when it comes to fashion frame. We've also got the Katir chest plate, which is back once again. Once again, it's not one I actually like. Um, but again, relativity. Uh, 150 ducats, 250,000 credits. If you like it, then definitely definitely pick it up. Uh, we've also got the Prisma Mech Sentinel head, which is actually something I do quite like. I have used it on a few of my Sentinels in the past. Uh, I don't have any customizations on my Helios Prime anymore, but this is one I've used in the past. 175 ducats, 200,000 credits if you want to pick this up. We've also got the incredible looking Scimitar Prisma skin. Now you all know how much of a fan I am of these Prisma skins for the landing craft. This is another one, 210 ducats, 450,000 credits. It's expensive, but how can you say no to something that looks as good as that? I think it's absolutely fantastic. It colors really nicely. You've got all the energy effects going on. Love this thing, absolutely love it. So for mods, we've got Primed Reach. Primed Reach is a fantastic mod. Um, absolutely pick it up, 100%. Max it out as well. 300 ducats, 220,000 credits. I use it on a lot of my weapons, a lot of my big ranged weapons. I use it on things like the whips. I use it on the um, things like the Mios or the Jack Kassar that came out recently. Uh, I think I have it on my Galantine Prime. I, it, absolutely fantastic mod. I'd say it's well worth picking up and maxing out. We've also got the electric jewel stats back once again. Jolt, Voltaic Strike, High Voltage and Shell Shock. Out of these four, if you can only buy a couple of them, get Jolt and Voltaic Strike. These two are exclusive to Barrow. 300 ducats, 150,000 credits each. So there's 300,000 credits and 600 ducats. It's expensive on its own. Um, high Voltage, however, and so for the Shell Shock, can be farmed on Eris in the Sabotage Hive missions. And um, by I believe it's by doing the 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 caches so you can actually get these as rewards in that game mode So if you can only afford to pick up two, grab jolt and voltaic strike uh, Weapons this time around we've got the Volcar Wraith. Volcar Wraith is a fantastic sniper I would like it a lot. It's got the lowest zoom of any of the snipers which makes it very usable in the um, the close confines of a lot of Warframe's tile sets but also, don't forget, Planes of Eidolon is coming soon, and I think that snipers are going to have a very big role in this. Especially one as good as the Volcar Wraith. Don't forget, you've got the um, the Syndicate mod also for the Volcar Wraith. It has a very high ribbon disposition too, so you could get a really good ribbon for this, plus the, uh, the Syndicate uh, augment. It is a fantastic weapon. I like this thing a lot. Moving on from there, Prisma Shade. Prisma Shade is a decent little sentinel. Um, you've got obviously all your cloaking that's going on with this thing. Uh, I actually use it quite a bit on Law of Retribution, on normal mode and nightmare mode, because it cloaks you up quite a bit. It helps with um, avoiding those rather annoying scorpions that are gonna try and pull you off the pads. Um, I'm a big fan of the Prisma Shade. I don't use it that often, but it is a very good little sentinel. We've also got Kitir Fireworks. They're not bad. I mean, 50 ducats, 100,000 credits. They are quite expensive, but you do get 10 of them. So, I mean, 10,000 credits effectively and 5 ducats for one of them. I mean, if you quite like your fashion frame and if you want to do a fireworks show, then it might be worth picking this thing up. We've also got 3-Day Affinity Booster, which if you're very low on your affinity, and especially since we've got the Prime stuff coming out next week, it might be worth picking up a few of these if you've got spare ducats, 450 of them and 200,000 credits. So they're not cheap, but if you have a like a surplus of ducats, you might as well try and pick this up. And that pretty much rounds off what we've got for the Katir inventory this time around. Obviously, Sands of Inaros is always going to be there. I thank you all so much for watching this Barry video. I actually have a new series of videos that are actually planned to start next week, so we'll see about that. Plus, there's some uh, some betas for some games that are coming out next week that's also I'm going to be looking into. But for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.